We asked UBC faculty for their perspective on common student concerns about office hours. Here's what they said. What would you say to a student who may be too scared to come to you for help? You know, even, even if you're in a huge class, if you're in the big first and second year science classes, um, it really it can feel, and I understand like it can feel as though the instructor is, doesn't have time or there's too many students or stuff, but um, you know, you'd be surprised on the instructor end. Uh, I've probably got 80% of my class thinks that I'm so busy that I can't talk to them, but then I've got the other percentage that is coming in and talk to me and they are getting help. So you're missing out if you think that, you know, that your instructor doesn't have time because there are classmates, regardless of how big your class is, that are getting help. I've never known an instructor, including myself, but an instructor who judges students based on uh, their grades and how well they do on a test. The, the, the thing that's, that instructors, that does reflect on an instructor's view of their students is uh, their commitment and the effort they put in. Um, if a student's coming into office hours and is obviously making that effort to improve, that reflects really well. And that goes regardless of how they're doing in the class. If they're getting a B, if they're getting, if they're failing. I think there is a lot of pressure on students, even before they come into university, to get good grades and if you don't get good grades you're a bad person and i think it is really really hard to shed that and usually i tell students if you come to see me you ha you're demonstrating to me that you care about this course and you're doing the right thing so it's already a, you know a positive check for you yeah you maybe you got the bad mark but that's past right it doesn't mean you're going to get the bad mark again and now you're taking action to avoid that so i think I mean, it's easier from my perspective, right, to say, you know, I've seen everything, don't worry, no judgment. But often, I think people are their worst judges and their worst critics. Students could just be assured that if they go see a prof, the prof is happy. For me, as an instructor and an educator, it is my job to set the atmosphere and to be really explicit that I am welcoming to my students and that I encourage them to come to me if they're struggling. If a student is still feeling nervous about that, um, this is good practice for life. <laughs> there are so many times in life when you just have to accept that you can't do everything or that you're struggling and you need to reach out for help. I personally am way more impressed by a student who can reach out to me early and um, who recognizes that they're struggling and asks me for help. The more transparent and honest you can be about what you're struggling with, even if it's like, you know, I just don't, you're talking like about this concept as if we should know what it is, but to be honest, there's an assignment on it and I just really don't understand it. I'm struggling with that. That's okay, <laughs> like that, uh, once again, that's the responsibility of the professor. And sometimes I, that's happened with me before with students where it's like, I didn't even think to explain this concept, that's my fault. So uh, often communicating with your prof can help them illuminate what they need to do better too. If you're scared to go talk to somebody, pick the person who you think is the easiest person to talk to. Um, and so I would say it's the instructor that you like the most, that you feel comfortable to in your classrooms. Think about the instructor who creates a welcoming atmosphere, who's having, you know, fun. I know university is like, well, we should be having fun when we're learning. Actually, the best learning happens when you have fun. <laughs> and so think about the person who is the most approachable for you. Uh, and it might be a previous instructor. It doesn't have to be a current one, but it might just be them kind of saying, hey, let's let's see what we can do to get you to talk to your current ones, or maybe we need advising. And sometimes it helps to hear from people like your instructors and stuff. Like, all of us have problems. Don't assume because we come into class, we're, we're you know, we're, we're always on and engaging. Everybody has problems. It's just we all manage them differently, right? And I've got more practice under my belt for knowing how I want to manage it. To learn more about office hours and how to get the most out of them, watch our previous video in this playlist.